In a bowl, I'm going to mix my dry ingredients. I have flour, almond flour, salt, and cocoa powder. Mix them all together. And then in another bowl, I've added my wet ingredients. I have sugar, eggs, milk, and butter. Just combine those all together. and then pour my wet ingredients into my dry ingredients to make a dough. We're just gonna make maybe one inch in diameter balls, and you want all of the cookies to be uniform so that we can make essentially whoopie pies. We're making a cookie sandwich. So roll, roll, roll. The dough is pretty sticky, so I like to use gloves. Once you make it into a round ball, flatten it out. So with my batter, I was able to make 14 little cookies. Keep in mind that I'm making mini choco pie today. I'm not making the large choco pie that you associate with Tonju choco pie. It'll taste like a Jeonju choco pie, but it won't look like one. The reason I'm making these itty bitty choco pie is because I have never been able to finish one in one sitting. I'm baking them at 350 for about 14, 15 minutes, depending on the type of oven you have. So while my cookies are baking, I'm preparing the filling as well as the outside decoration. I'm melting two cups dark chocolate chips just because, again, I don't really like sweet things, but you can use semi-sweet or even milk chocolate. And then I have some whipped cream that I've formed into stiff peaks. I don't want my whipped cream to be runny because I am dipping my choco pie into melted chocolate. So if your whipped cream is runny, then it'll completely melt, which you don't want. Putting my whipped cream into a plastic bag, which I'm going to use as a piping bag. I also have strawberry jam. If you don't have strawberry jam at home, you can actually take it out. I didn't have strawberry jam, so I made my own with frozen strawberries, sugar, and a little bit of lemon juice. And all I've done is just boiled it in a pot together until the liquid becomes essentially very syrupy. Beep! My cookies are out of the oven. Once they're cool, I'm going to match them together because I want to make little sandwiches, so I want to make sure that they're the right size and shape. After I've done that, I'm taking one cookie, putting a little bit of whipped cream around the edge, making a circle. Putting my jam inside. And then putting another cookie on top to make a little sandwich. Once I've done this, I am dipping one part of my whoopie pie into chocolate and then setting that off to dry. Most of the commercially manufactured choco pie that they sell at Korean supermarkets have marshmallow inside. And if you have marshmallow filling, you can actually mix one part's marshmallow filling to one part's whipped cream to make your whipped cream. That also tastes really good. I've used about less than a half of my melted chocolate. So let's say we have one and a half cups of melted chocolate left. I'm adding about five ounces of my condensed milk, which is roughly one third of this 14 ounce can, directly into my chocolate and mixing it. Again, I'm kind of eyeballing it just because I don't know exactly how much chocolate I used. But in my experience, it doesn't have to be exact. Once I've completely mixed my condensed milk into my melted chocolate, I actually put it in my refrigerator for about 30 minutes because I want it to harden. That makes rolling out my truffle balls easier. So it's been in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes, taking it out, and what I'm going to do is form little bite-sized balls. And then I have some cocoa powder. Put it into my cocoa powder. Coat my truffles completely with my cocoa powder, and that's it. And this is what it looks like. I have my Jeonju choco pie and my truffles. Whenever I make this, I always have leftover ingredients, such as my leftover chocolate, my leftover jam. And there are a few things you can do with the leftover jam that pair really well with your choco pies. And that is to make drinks. So what I've done 
So I've put in some of my strawberry jam, which actually is more of a syrup right now, which is totally fine. It serves its purpose. Ice and then sparkling water. And mix. And essentially you've just made a strawberry soda. You can also make strawberry milk with this. So again, I've put in some strawberry jam and milk. Mix it together. Then to make it super fancy, and also because I have some leftover whipped cream, just put the whipped cream on top and you have yourself a fancy strawberry milk. <laughs> 